Hey everybody, this is the 2023 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. And in this video, we're gonna do a full evaluation of the four wheel drive system on this truck by putting it through the TFL slip test, seeing how the four wheel drive system works in a controlled environment, and then bringing it out here to Tumbleweed Ranch and the Onyx off-road course to see how it works in the real world. And we're gonna compare two things, crawl control and a locking differential to see which one is better. So the first thing we're going to do is put the four wheel drive system of the Tacoma through its paces on the TFL slip test and we've got these custom made rollers which simulate a zero friction surface essentially and we place these rollers under various wheels to see how the four wheel drive system and the traction control and in this case the crawl control works to get us unstuck. Now this is a very common situation in the snow, the rain, the slush, whatever but also off road when you start picking up tires. Hi Blazy, should we see what happens? Alright, so this is going to be the first of the TFL slip test and we're starting with the rear wheel slip test. Now the procedure is the same across all the tests and the same across all the vehicles. We back into the rollers nice and gently and then we get the vehicle stuck and we actually go ahead and put it in neutral to allow the vehicle to kind of settle in that little, uh, that little void in between the rollers so we get nice and stuck. And then we go into drive. Now in rear wheel drive, this Tacoma shouldn't go anywhere because all the power is going to the rear wheels. And as I let off the brake, you can see rear wheels are spinning. Traction control is activated, but we can't do anything because we're just in rear wheel drive. Now we have two different four wheel drive modes in this Tacoma, four high and four low. Um, for these tests, we was going to four low to simulate off-road uh, situations and truck is a neutral, four-wheel drive light is flashing. This is one of the challenges of the Tacoma. It can take some time to get these in and out of four-wheel drive low, I found. So let's see if we're in four-wheel drive low under the accelerator. And you can see uh, the second that that front axle engaged, we got unstuck immediately. All right, moving on to the next test. So next up, we have the diagonal slip test in the Toyota Tacoma. And of course, this is the TRD Pro model. So we've got diff locks, we have crawl control, we have multi-terrain select, so we have a lot we can play with. But what we're gonna do first is just normal four low and see what happens when we go into drive. The left front and the right rear are stuck in the rollers. And as I accelerate, see the vehicle just starts to spin and spin and spin but we don't go anywhere because essentially the vehicle is operating with open differentials and wheel speed is transmitted to the wheel on the rollers and the wheels on the ground remain stationary. Now, let's play with some of the toys. Let's try crawl control. Crawl control is a super cool feature on the Tacoma. I push a button up here on the overhead console and now I have five different speeds. And what crawl control does is modulate not only the accelerator, but the brakes to clamp down on the wheels that are spinning to force wheel speed to the wheels on the ground. So in crawl control, let's see if we can get unstuck. So I'm in the third position on crawl. I'm letting off of the brake. It sounds like <laughs> tennis shoes in the dryer, but we got unstuck super quickly. And that is a really effective system. But of course, that's not the only system in the Toyota Tacoma. I'm gonna go ahead and turn crawl control off and we can try another function, which of course is the rear differential lock. And what this is gonna do is lock both rear wheels at the same speed, the push of a button, the rear locker should engage. And once again, Toyota rear lockers can be a little bit finicky to turn on and off, but it's flashing right now. We're gonna see if it can engage as I uh, start to move. So you can see the second that I got a little bit of forward movement, that rear locker engaged and we got unstuck. So with open diffs, we were hopelessly stuck Crawl control got out with just a little bit of thinking. With the rear locker, of course, it sent wheel speed to that wheel on the ground because it was a mechanical connection and we got unstuck immediately. Time to step it up here, folks. Going on to the three-wheel slip test and the locker is still activated from the previous test. 
and it takes so long for these lockers on these Toyota products to turn on and off. Um, for example, the Ford Bronco, it's like immediate. It's faster than you can think. But on these Toyotas, it really is kind of a pain in the patootie. Anyways, hopefully we'll disengage here in a second as we go on to the three-wheeled slip test. So this is one of my favorite tests. There we go, just disengaged. Now in the three-wheeled slip test, both front wheels are stuck. The left rear wheel is stuck. Only the right rear wheel is on the ground. And you can see um, crawl off and lockers off when I go to accelerate. Essentially, three wheels are just gonna spin and spin and spin, and we're not gonna go anywhere. So, let's go ahead and try crawl control. Push the button, we'll do the third speed, just like we did last time. I'm gonna let off the brake. You don't actually have to accelerate in crawl control, it's all taken care of by the computer. Okay, it's gonna spin, it's gonna think, and almost immediately, we pulled ourselves off. That is such a fast system. Now, A-Track, which we used in the um, previous video with the 4Runner, is also a very good system, very effective. Let's see how that performed in that same test. Can we get unstuck in just four low? So we're into neutral, the vehicle is settled into the rollers. Now into drive, gonna take my foot off of the brake so you can see we're spinning, we're spinning, we're spinning, but quite honestly, not much is happening. So now what we're gonna do is engage a track, push the button, that's all you have to do, and it's gonna, start thinking, what do I need to do to get unstuck? Oh, that was a great example of how that system works. But you can see crawl control is even better. It just works immediately. But let's go ahead and turn crawl control off and we're gonna try with a good old fashioned locking rear diff here. So into the rollers, nice and settled. I actually have a camera in this truck. I can see that we're in the rollers. Although we're shifted just a little bit. Let me fix that. Okay, now we're really stuck. So in the rollers, let's go ahead and click on that rear diff lock. Lights blinking and engaged quickly. And you can see, I did have to use the accelerator of course, but we got off immediately. It's a really good system. When the locker engages, it's a permanent connection between both rear wheels and we were able to slide on off. However, this next test, I'm not sure the locker is gonna be as helpful. final test is a three-wheeled slip test, but this time both rears are stuck in the rollers and only one front is on the ground. The right front is on the ground. Now here's the thing. Let's start this test with the rear diff lock on. And I think we're going to find that not much is going to happen because, well, check this out, right? You know, rollers are spinning up, rollers are spinning up, rollers are spinning up. But of course, this truck only has a rear diff lock. And if both rear wheels are stuck like they are now, we're not going anywhere. So it doesn't really matter that my locker is on, which it is, because both rears are stuck. Now, let's see if crawl control can get us out of this really nasty situation. It's gonna have to send a lot of wheel speed to that right front wheel. That's gonna have to start to spin if we're gonna get out of here. So off the brake. It's thinking about it. it oh, so you can see it definitely took a little bit more thought with the crawl control system to figure out where it needed to send the brake pressure to activate the wheel on the ground, but it did figure it out really quickly and we got unstuck. Very impressive technology from the Toyota Tacoma. All right, so now we're gonna try a real world application of the TFL slip test by taking the Tacoma TRD Pro out into Onyx off-roads, Andre's pit course, and specifically the trenches obstacle. These are divots cut into the ground at staggered angles, designed to throw vehicles off kilter, designed to lift tires in the air, and designed to be a torture test for four wheel drive systems. And that's exactly what we're gonna do in this Tacoma. Now, I'm in four low, but let's just try this obstacle with nothing on, no, no crawl control, um, no rear locker, just, you know, four low and that's it. Let's see how far we get. So I'm gonna stick the left wheels into these deep ruts and then we'll start picking up some of the right wheels. Let's see how the 
Tacoma performs. Now, of course, I could bomb up this test. That's kind of defeating the purpose, so it's designed to be exceptionally difficult. And of course, the PRD Pro actually has pretty good articulation. You can see we're just spinning up here. We're not really going anywhere. Let's try just a little bit of a bump. Once again, I don't want to just power up this because that kind of defeats the purpose of the test, but just a little bit of a bump. Okay, that allowed the spinning wheels to kind of regain control of the earth, but now as it starts to get steeper here, I think we're going to run into the same issue, so I'm going to stop. We get a little bit of progress, and then the tires hit. Stop again. Once again, get it off kilter. Okay, yeah, we're stuck. So let's back on down, and let's try this with crawl control on. Let's see how crawl control behaves on these kind of staggered ruts. So back down here to the start. Make sure we're nice and in the holes, which we are. So crawl control engaged. We'll do the medium position into drive, foot off of the accelerator. Let's see if it'll figure it out. It's going to start to pick up tires. It's, uh, thinking about it. There you go. So that sound, which sounds like shoes in a dryer, that's the crawl control system working. Going to pick up the left front and the right rear tire here. Yep, once again, it's working to modulate. This is where we got completely stuck last time. And the crawl control is making short work of this challenge. Um, it does sound a little bit clunky and occasionally we can be a little stop and go there on the accelerator, but you can see without touching the accelerator, without doing anything, we just walked right up. But let's try that test one more time. I'm gonna turn crawl control off and we're gonna try it in four low with the rear locker engaged. We're gonna give it one more go here and see how that compares to the crawl control system. So we didn't make it up with just standard four low and open disc. We did make it up with crawl control after it took just a little bit of thinking, but finally we've got the last of the tests, which is gonna be the full enchilada. Stick that rear locker on and give it heck. We'll see how that compares. So crawl control is now disabled. Rear locker is engaged. There we go, four low rear locker on. And we're gonna take it super slow, not taking any momentum, just like last time. Well, we have to take a little bit, because physics, but you know. Stopping here, we're completely off kilter. <laughs> and you can see, with those two rear tires spinning at the same speed, the real world impact of that is that we're just walking up this, right? There's no drama, there's no slipping, because as one wheel goes in the air, it doesn't matter because the other wheel's on the ground and the other wheel is getting wheel speed. So I can feel, I can hear the rear diff being lifted um, and lifting tires up and down, but this is by far the least amount of drama. This is why lockers rule. Crawl control is good. It really is good. A-Track is good. It really is good. We proved that in the Forerunner video, but you can't beat an old fashioned mechanical locker. Great work, Toyota. Well, as you can see, the Toyota killed it. Now, crawl control is a great system. A rear locker is incredible. A front locker would be even more incredible, but overall, it's a fantastic four-wheel drive system. And the best part is, you don't need to spend the money on the Pro. You can get this same four-wheel drive system with a TRD off-road. That is your money-saving tip of the day. As always, this has been Tommy behind the camera. Brendan, killing it as always. We'll see you on the next episode.